America's sweetheart theater chain has done it again. They've taken the fun and magic of the movie theater experience and thrown that directly into the trash. But what could they have possibly ruined this time? Seating. Currently, AMC is testing this new Sightline program around where you could pay upwards of $2 extra to get that premium middle seat. Well, for those inexplicable front seat pickers, you're in luck. Your price is actually going to go down a little bit because you're a clown for liking the front row. Who wants to watch a movie like this? But I think there's more at play here. Anybody know what the Stubbs program is? It's basically AMC's alternative of Movie Pass. Movie Pass, that was a gem. It's back. Movie Pass is back. How? How is this program still around? Anyway, not getting sidetracked. But the Stubbs thingy mabobber from AMC lets you spend 25 bucks or more a month, and then you can see unlimited movies and you will not be affected by this seat picking fiasco that's going on. While us common peasants have to scratch and claw to get the middle row for that premium price, you're high on your hog, eating popcorn, watching Avatar 2 for the 14th time. Why do people go to this movie? Sorry, stay focused, Adam. I feel like every year AMC has some stunt bullshit they kind of throw out into the ether and it inevitably goes nowhere because of the backlash, but AMC's being talked about and all press is good press and things like that from the 50s marketing department. I don't know. I do know this though. AMC's stupid and I'm so sick of their terrible business practices. And if this is something that actually gets implemented for realsies, I can only see things getting worse for us moviegoers that actually like going out to the theater more than one time a year to see the big blockbuster and then never again. What's going to happen is the garbage people that used to go and sit in the front row and they lean all the way back and they just sit on their phone for half the film, you're incentivizing them to do that even more because now it's cheaper for them to go to the theater for five bucks maybe, and they sit back and they just sit on their phone and talk loudly and I'm miserable paying extra. I'm paying extra to be miserable. I can do that for free at home. I'm married with kids. Mark your calendars, New York, Kansas City, and Chicago for February 10th. 40 theaters are gonna be getting this new rollout. The red carpet is yours to walk down. But it's gonna cost you your soul. Uh, listen, I'm not the first person to cast stones at AMC. Elijah Wood took to Twitter. And if you are pissing off Elijah Wood, you're doing it wrong. He basically stated that the theater is a sacred place where all walks of life can come together and join in the magic as one. Whether you're old man Scrooge or tiny Tim, you should be able to pick your seat and not have it be one more cruel reminder that the wealthy sit where they want while the common peasant, he's down below getting stepped on by the man upstairs. Obviously, I think this is a dumb idea. AMC probably thinks it is too. This is kind of stunt bullshit. I, I just refuse to believe they're really gonna go through and start charging more depending on where you're sitting. They, they claim it's like a concert. This is not like a concert, okay? Now, there's not guys buying tickets and scalping them for like 60 bucks a pop, okay? Movie theater tickets don't cost 150 bucks. They cost 10. Or if you're AMC, they cost 16 plus a Coke, that's gonna run you another 20. Well, there you have it. My thoughts on the latest and greatest ideas to come out of that Rube Goldberg machine known as AMC. <laughs> what will they think of next? To screw over the customer. Let's tune in and find out. And make sure to tune in yourself to this channel, Adam Does Movies, where you won't miss out on any of the cool videos I'm putting out each and every week. They're sexy, they're in your face, they're just amazing stuff. And it won't cost you a dime. Just, just the little bit of time it costs to hit that subscribe button. Um, I mean, you could become a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and, and there is tiered brackets there. So I guess, I guess I'm a little bit like AMC because there's exclusive material that the peasants don't get. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you had a good time and hopefully I catch you around. I was gonna say catch you next time, but then I'd be saying time right after time. It's a time after time Cindy Lauper situation. <laughs> Fantastic. Bye. And since I'm back, baby, I'd love to have you back. Join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a $1 tier all the way up into 30. If you're making that fat cat book of cash, 
you get to recommend a video and I have to watch and review it. Granted, I'm catching up on a backlog right now, but I'm going to be coming fast and furious with them. So please join me. I'd appreciate it.